Midnight Stories from Other Lands. Pay attention to the words in red. 请注意红色的字 The wind was strong. 那阵风很强 He must wind the clock. Wind, 调动，转动 Wind, 风 A tear rolled down her cheek. Tear, 眼泪 There was There was a tear in his trousers. Tear, 扯破的洞 The scouts lead the girl home. Lead, 带领 The core of the pencil is the lead. Lead, 铅 The girls lined up in a row. The boys had a row. 同学们，你们看到了吗？在英文里，一样的字可以有不一样的意思，不一样的读音，所以要注意了哟。同学们，现在翻开第七十二页。A clever boy from China. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Ma Liang. He lived in a village in China. The people in the village were very poor. One night, Ma Liang dreamed that an old man gave him a magic paintbrush. When Ma Liang woke up, he found a paintbrush on his table. He painted a picture of a bird, and the bird became a real bird. 从前有一位男孩的名字叫马良。马良住在中国的一个村庄，那里的人都非常的贫穷。一天晚上，马良梦见了一位老先生，给他了一把魔法的毛笔。当马良起床时，发现他的桌上多了一支毛笔。他用那支毛笔画了一只小鸟。而那只小鸟就变成了一只真的小鸟。How did Ma Liang feel? What happened next? Ma Liang used the paintbrush to help the poor villagers. He drew animals for their farms. He also drew a river near their fields to help them get water for their plants. One day, the village chief caught Ma Liang and put him in prison. Draw me a mountain of gold, and I will let you go," the chief said. Ma Liang used that paint brush to help many villagers. He drew animals to help the villagers get water for their plants. He also drew a river near their fields to help them get water for their plants. He also drew a river near their fields to help them get water for their plants. He also drew a river near their fields to help them get water for their plants. He also drew a river near their fields to help them get water. 一天，村长把马良抓起来，放进监狱。村长对马良说：“你必须画一座金山给我，我才会把你放出去。”那马良会怎么做呢 ？What kind of man was the chief? Give one reason for your answer. 你觉得村长是个怎么样的人呢？为什么你会这样觉得？ Ma Liang drew a mountain of gold far across a sea. Then he drew a ship. The village chief jumped into the ship and sailed away. When the ship was in the middle of the sea, Ma Liang drew a storm. The ship was. Ma Liang 在海的对岸画了一座金山。他也画了一艘船。村长上了那艘船，然后就开走了。当船到了海的中央，马良画了一一道闪电，那艘船就淹没了。What do you think happened to the ship in the end? Why? 你觉得那艘船最后怎么样了呢？为什么你会这么觉得 ？The ship was destroyed because of the storm. 那艘船被消灭了，因为那道闪电。第七十四页 
Rearrange the sentences in each box in the correct order to form a paragraph. Then, rearrange the paragraphs to form a story. Use the pictures above to help you. 重组句子，重组故事。First paragraph will be this. 这会是第一段。The first sentence of the first paragraph will be once. Two hunters plan to catch turtle. 两只两个猎人准备抓乌龟。A turtle heard the two hunters talking. 一只乌龟听到两个猎人正在讲话。The turtle asked two cranes to help him. 乌龟要两只喜鹤来帮他。Second paragraph. The turtle said, "Carry me on a stick and take me away." 乌龟说，把我放在一只棍上，带我走。Do not open your mouth at all. The cranes warned the turtle. 不准张开你的嘴巴。喜鹤警告乌龟。Warn, 警告。The cranes flew in the air with the turtle hanging from the stake. 喜鹤飞在天空中，乌龟咬着那只足。Third paragraph. Some men saw the cranes and said, "Those clever birds know how to carry a turtle." 一些人类看到了喜鹤。便说，那些鸟好聪明，知道怎么把乌龟给吊起来。The talkative turtle shouted, "It was all my idea!" 爱讲话的乌龟喊，这是我的主意。The turtle fell to the ground. 乌龟跌到了陆地上。We use these words to ask questions. Who, 谁 ask about people. What, 什么 ask about people, things, animals. Where, 哪里 ask about places. How, 怎样 ask about manner or way. When, 几时 Ask about time. Why? 为什么 Ask about reason. Write questions for the answers below. The rich farmer put Ma Liang in prison. The rich farmer is a people. 有钱的农夫是一个人，所以我们用谁 People. Who put Ma Liang in prison? She found gold coins in the box. Gold coins, things. She found what in the box, or what she found in the box. He went home in a bullock cart. How he went home? She was frightened because the lion wanted to eat her. Because reason, why she was frightened. Because the 后面就会是原因，原因就是 reason. Reason 我们就要用 why 为什么 Why she was frightened? She was frightened because the lion wanted to eat her. A long time ago, the crow and the peacock had white feathers. They were good friends. One day, they were in a garden. They saw some pretty flowers there. I wish my feathers were colorful like these flowers. Yes, I wish I had colorful feathers too. You can paint my feathers. After that, I will paint yours. Early next morning, the crow started to paint the peacock feathers. 
He used many colors. He took a long time because he wanted to do the work well. After a few hours, it's all done. You look wonderful. Good job. I look beautiful. Then the peacock spread his wings to fly away. He wanted to show off his beautiful feathers to other birds in the forest. Wait, wait! It is your time to paint me. The peacock was in a hurry. He did not want to waste time painting the crow's feather. So. You think the peacock did the last thing in the forest? The peacock used black color to paint the crow. Complete the braids map below. The crow and the peacock. Characters. Dress. Got it. Crow, peacock. The crow. The peacock. Setting. Place. The forest. Time. Early next morning. Lesson. 在这个故事中，你学会了什么呢 ？We cannot learn from peacock. We must not be selfish. 我们不能向孔雀学习，我们不能那么自私。